either guys and gals prop here at Deluxe Gaming and welcome back to Stonehearth Alpha 17. We're now on episode 12 and things are going tremendously well. As a matter of fact, last time while we were doing all our other stuff, including getting our archer ready to go and having a few battles, they finished working on the dining hall and of course the living quarters. So we can actually start placing down the rest of our beds. Also, they're just about done with this building, which is exciting. This is going to be the guard house. This is where our, I'm going to sort of house our three guards here because you can assign beds now. So we've got our archer, our cleric, and our uh, footman, Sir Chris, Merlin, and Shinxi. So yeah, as soon as they're done this, they're going to be, yeah, they'll be done this very soon. They're already working on the roof. Oh, that's really, really awesome. <laughs> Donald Trump is working really hard at making sure that we have lots and lots of food to eat. And speaking of, we're going to get our dining hall set up, which means we're going to have to set up a couple things here. I think, uh oh, invaders approaching. Oh man, it's on the roof again. So I, I'm debating on whether or not to leave this ladder here because I don't know that they'll be able to spawn on the top of the mountain if I take the ladder down. And I'm not opposed to them spawning up here because, I don't know, it's good experience, right? I mean, it doesn't hurt right now. Now, eventually we may have to cut that off because, uh, oh, looks like they're going out already. Perfect. I'll let, I'll let them take care of it. That's, I mean, what? Big deal. We got a, we got a zombie and a, ooh, they look at that axe. So that axe looks awesome. That looks really great. Zombie and a, and a, and a, and a skeleton, I guess. Yeah. They get bandages. Ooh, I love that. I love the archer. It's so good. I wouldn't think the archer would be so good against a skeleton, but whatever. Now, oh, also, before I go any further, I just want to take a look at something really quickly. Um, I want to build... I don't remember what... Oh, it's under... Uh, yeah, that's right. It's under weaving. Yes, the fire quiver and the spiky quiver. Do we have... Yeah, we're, we're going to need chickens for that, which means we need to get... We need to get our our woodworker up to level five so that we can get our shepherd's crook because once we get the shepherd, the shepherd is the one that I can, we can get the chickens, right? He can get a, a, a group of chickens and we can get some feathers. And of course, then we can use that, uh, the chicken for cooking too as well. So uh, speaking of cooking, we need to get the dining area moved. So this is gonna be a bit of a pain. I wonder if we can do this uh, like from this level, hold on right here. So we, yeah, that'll work, that'll work. So we can actually go like this. And move this. So I want the dining hall. I want the, all the tables to be... Oh, man. It's not going to be symmetrical. Oh, man. It's going to be close enough. Nobody's going to notice the difference. Well, I will. You guys will, but whatever. Okay, so there's one. Okay, so yeah. This is going to be a bit of a pain. We didn't get any fine tables, eh? I'm surprised. Uh, we built, we built like, I don't know. I don't know how many tables we built, but uh, we didn't get any fine tables out of that. Well, that's okay. You know what? We're going to have to get our woodworker, you know, practicing a little bit more anyway because... Because we need to get him up to level five. As at level five, he can build those, uh, build that shepherd's crook, and that shepherd's crook is kind of key now. There's a few things that we need to get. I've never had the motivation to get the shepherd, the shepherd so badly, but now I do, which is great. I'm going to actually queue that up right now. I know we need wood, wood for a lot of things right now, but uh, we need, to, we need to get him up to level five. So let's queue up. I want to let's queue up another. No, let's queue up another like. I don't know, five more tables. I want some of these dressers for, uh, you'll see why in a second. Oh, writing desk, that'd be cool too. Uh, no, let's do the dressers. Let's queue up. I'm going to need like 10 of these dressers. Man, they're expensive. We're, we're going to run. We also, of course, we're using the wood for the blacksmith too as well. So I don't know. We're just waiting for these trees to grow. As soon as we get them up to medium, we'll, we'll take them down. Because, ah, yeah, we need them bad. <laughs> I'm really glad that we started a new crop of those too as well. All right, so uh, what were we doing? Yes, we're moving tables and chairs because we need to make sure that they all have a place to sit and eat. So that one, it's it's a little bit time consuming, a little bit of a pain in the butt to do this, but whatever. You know what would be kind of cool is if you could actually highlight the whole area and say move all at once. I wonder if they're, I think I heard them talking about doing something like that. So in other words, just kind of select the whole, the whole kit and caboodle and, and move it all at, in one go. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be cool. Like, like almost like a blueprint, right? That'd be kind of cool. Like, like in Factorio, like, I don't know if you guys play Factorio or not, but like when you set up a, you can set up blueprints and then your robots can rebuild the exact same layout that you have in a different location. So that'd be kind of cool setting up or, you know, like, like setting up a design for a house, right? So having, having the tables and chairs organized in a particular area in a, in a house. I wonder if you could do that actually. I wonder, actually, you might be able to do that. I mean, we might experiment with that a little bit because I think, I think, I think that would actually work. Well, we'll have to play with it in a minute, but you have to actually have it all built. Uh-oh, engineer. Uh-oh, this one is scaffolding again. Okay, so they're having trouble taking down the scaffolding or putting up scaffolding as long as they still might be able to solve it. Oh man, there's three errors now. 
Oh, this scares me so much because you know what happens when we start to get a lot of these types of errors? It, it, it might shorten the lifespan of the game. So hopefully that doesn't, that isn't the case. Man, oh man, that worries me so much. All right, so let's get this, these last ones moved. And then we have to, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain because we've got our food on the outside of the, the uh, of course, out, out here. Oh, daily update. <gasps> Yay, we get another person. Wow, that was fast. All right, new person. All right, so we've got Wind Ember. Oh, that's a really nice name, but we're going to change your, his name. He's blonde, very, very blonde, and he's a 551. So he'll he's our new blacksmith. Or, or, you know what? Hold on, hold on, pause. This is why we maybe should have had to... Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we should have we should have been more patient. Okay, so Wind Ember, let's get your name. Your name is going to be Bill, the blacksmith. <laughs> yeah, that is a, somebody asked for this name too as well. Okay, so Bill the blacksmith. Wind, you are going to be or Bill, sorry, you are going to be the blacksmith. So we need to get Aragon turned back. Oh man, I feel that. I feel like we kind of waste some of that experience. That's too bad. So let's get uh, let's get. Where are you here? Aragon, you're going to go back and you're going to become our permanent weaver. Because, yeah, why not? Let's make you, uh, let's change you back into the weaver. There we go. I'm just, the, honestly, the weaver's so important right now because the weaver's the one that's going to be building those quivers, right? The, the, the magical quivers. So, and then let's make uh, Bill the Smith. You are going to be our blacksmith. As soon as, uh, as soon as he drops the hammer. Drop the hammer, Aragon. <laughs> He's like, no, I want to be a blacksmith. I know, I know, I know. It, it's, 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 a, it's a worthy job, but uh, you know what? You're so good at weaving. I need you to stick to weaving for now. For now, just for now. Okay, so let's, we should be able to change him now. Maybe, I don't know. Hold on, let's, uh, let's go back here. We're up to 11 people already. Crazy, crazy. Change jobs. You are going to be, henceforth, our blacksmith. Where is it here? There it is. Blacksmith. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Build a blacksmith. Excellent, awesome, awesome, awesome. So, uh, yeah, so I kind of feel like maybe we should have waited a little bit longer. And then, because I didn't realize we were going to get another person right away. Hey, we we finished the building. They're just putting up the windows now. Awesome. Awesome. I wonder if they were getting the air here where they you couldn't. Yeah, I don't know. Wicked, cool. That's great. This building is done. Okay, so what we're going to do. Ooh, caravan. Uh, Forks Bark, uh, bearing goods, trade. Uh, give me one farmer's hoe in exchange for one fire pit. Uh, I don't know. Is that a good deal? I, I don't know if that's a good deal, but sure. Oh, no, that was a bad deal. <laughs> no, because, I mean, I mean, we still, that means we got to build another farmer's hoe because otherwise uh, Donald Trump may need to switch back at some point. So yeah, that was the only hoe we had. So let's go back here. Man, <laughs> I wasn't thinking. And these hoes are too, too wood. Ah, blows. That blows. All right, let, we can harvest... I, I would love to wait to see if these grow to be bigger trees, but a medium is about as big as we can go right now. We need to get we need to get the wood badly. We need it because our blacksmith needs it, and of course our 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 carpenter needs it too as well. Let's get these harvested. And are we done moving that table? I think so. Let's just go back up here and check. The whoops uh, table is moved. Perfect, and we can get our cooking stuff upstairs now too as well. Let's get this. We may have to have a uh, a, a farmer and a cook. Like having having the cook do all the farming too as well might be a little much. So let's get the cooking stuff. We're gonna put it in the kitchen here. <laughs> I loves it. I loves it. I loves it. Uh, let's rotate that. Not that it matters. I don't think we're gonna put that up in here. So this is gonna be the kitchen over here. Then we'll put. There's another thing that we can put right in the center. And we can. We can of course dress this up too as well. We can get some of those lanterns down because we got a couple more lanterns. We don't have a huge amount of them. Uh man. Okay. I would love to have more of these, but we don't right now. So we're gonna just put two in. And I'd love to. I guess we'll, we'll just do regular lanterns like. Where, where the dining hall is. So have them lined up all the way down like that. That'll look really cool. I think we might have to make this dining hall bigger too as well. And I'd love to maybe carve out some more of the stone too to kind of make it look cool. Like we were, like we started doing on the bottom level too as well. Um, yeah, we need, we need more of those red lanterns, man. <laughs> we need more. What is this, by the way? This is the carpenter sign. Oh, well, we could put that down. Sure. I mean, that might add to our wealth too as well. Uh, so we could put the, oh. You know what? We're gonna move this. We're gonna move. Sorry, I'm getting caught up in, in silly things. Let's move. Let's move the standard upstairs, where the dining hall is. I think that makes more sense, right? Uh, I don't know. I don't know if it makes more sense or not. I don't know if that makes more sense or not. 
Uh, let's move that here for now. I think this needs to move a little bit on its own too as well. Let's, I don't know, I don't, I can't make this, I can't make this symmetrical. You know what, we should put it here because this is where all the cooking happens, right? So, you know, a campfire cooking, it all kind of makes sense. I guess we'll put that here and this, I'm not happy with that. We're probably going to move it again. I'm just, I'm just thinking, I'm thinking as I do stuff. Sometimes that's, that's good. So everybody's, so right now there's quite a bit of distance between where they get the food and where they eat. So I realize that and we're going to fix that as time goes on. But before we do that, we do need to build some more chairs. So let's get some more dining chairs too as well. I know, I know, I know, I know wood, wood, wood. We need more wood. So let's build six more of those. But the thing is, we're going to need to seat more people at this table too as well. So that's the other thing. Also, we need to get our beds, our comfy beds because we should have a few of those now. Let's place our comfy beds. Yes, <laughs> we need three of them, actually. We need three comfy beds. Let's place one on the top. That's gonna be for our for Merlin the Archer. Let's rotate that. So it's like, or should we have all the beds on the inside? Could Can we actually fit all the beds on the inside? I don't even know. Hold on, let's, uh, let's uh, whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Hold on, slice, let's go down. Oh, I can't, so the only way I can do this is like that, okay. Uh, all right, so we can we fit all three beds in here? You know what, I think we're gonna put two beds in here. We're gonna put one, two, otherwise it's gonna be a little cramped, and we're gonna put the other bed, uh, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be a comfy bed. Uh, uh, that's okay, that's okay, as long as, you know, it's a bed, right? And then we can assign these beds to our guards, right? So we got, we got uh, Merlin, Shinxie, and, uh, and uh, what's her face, or what's his face? Uh, Chris, Sir Chris. Is there any monsters out here, by the way? Just gotta keep an eye out for monsters too as well. <laughs> we are playing on hard, and I'm spending all this time making things look nice, and you never know what could happen, right? So, and also we need, now that we've got those down, we can finish putting all of the beds. I just, you know, I wanted to be sure that I got the guard, the guard house kind of set up there. Um, we can finish putting beds, of course, in our, sort of our, more institutional little, but mind you, these are, everybody's getting their own room this time. I mean, they're not huge rooms. We could carve them out a little bit bigger, but I mean, at least they're getting a room, right? Look, how come they're not done? They're not done digging in here. It looks like they, oh, I see. Hold on, I see what I did. Okay, so let's put this one. Is that it? Okay, that's it. And actually we can cancel this. Perfect, remove. Now, what we could do is we could carve out each room a little bit bigger, it's, but just manually. What we could do is we could, uh, you know, manually carve. It's going to take a while. Maybe I'll do this on my own. Maybe I'll carve these out a little bit on my own or do a fast forward one day. We haven't done any fast forwards yet. I could per I could carve these out so that each room is it comes out at least one more block so they have a little bit more room. And then I was thinking, I was thinking, I think I think you guys will like this with these with these dressers. I was thinking, oh, we made some fine dressers. Cool. I was thinking with the dressers, we could actually have them sort of placed inside the wall. So I could carve out a little area like this and we could put the dresser just kind of inside the wall. I think that'll look cool or right up against the wall. I don't know, whatever. And we could also put doors on every single one of these rooms. Why? I don't know, privacy, because you know, some of the girls, some of the Hearthling girls might want some privacy. Some of the Hearthling boys might, might want privacy. I like privacy, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the beds are going in. Yay! Oh, that's so cool. Awesome. Okay, so this one is going to belong to Merlin. So we can assign this to Merlin the Archer. Cool, cool, cool. And then the ones down here, this one is going to belong to Shinxie. Shinxie, the blonde cleric. And this one, eventually, as soon as it gets placed, as soon as it gets placed, will belong to Sir Chris. So now uh, let's, oh, let's also keep track of our blacksmith. I just want to be sure that our blacksmith is working hard. Bill, how you doing, Bill? Actually, Bill, what, so are you getting experience? No, so you have actually have not done anything. So why, why haven't you done anything? Because there is stuff to do. Oh, it's wood. No, you've got wood too as well. There is some wood kicking around, but not enough, not enough. I get that, I get that. Okay, so no problem. Actually, what you can do though is build your anvil because I, I think there's certain things you can't build unless you have an anvil too as well. So get that built and then we'll go from there. Cause there, there's a lot of stuff that we need that's metal. <laughs> a lot of stuff. And uh, how is our level, how is Owl coming along for level? Because as soon as he's able to, I want to make, uh, we really need, whoops, not change jobs. I really need to make him build us the Shepherd's Crook as well. So yeah, he's still got a ways to go. 
All right, wood. We just need wood. A lot of wood. Oh, yes. Awesome. Look at all these mediums. Awesome. Fantastic. So next time I will be sure to place, sort of stagger everything out a little bit better. I, I didn't mean to place these so close together. I didn't know that was going to make that much of a difference, but apparently it does. And maybe they, we probably do get another whole level of growth if, if we're patient here um, with some of these, if they're not too close together. But I, I'm, I'm not patient because we need to get this wood now. And actually, I'm not happy with the trees on the top level because they kind of block everything off. You can't even see, you can't even see anything. So yeah, let's get those cut down. And yeah, that should give us a whole bit big chunk of wood. Now, I'm wondering, is there any more saplings that we can place down? And if we can, no. No, okay. Oh, you know what? That's right. Actually, the saplings the, on this list, it's showing that we have 44 saplings. It's actually the ones that are planted already. I get confused by that sometimes. It's a little weird that it shows us the saplings that are planted because they're not saplings anymore. They're actually trees now, right? So whatever, that's fine. We need to get those cut down because we can't see anything. <laughs> Um, let's get back into the, okay, there we go. Perfect. So now we need to get, we need to get all of the cooking stuff moved over. So we need to get, we're going to have different chests assigned for different things. So what I want to do is actually get these moved around now. So we're going to have chests for raw. I guess we should just move them all. Let's just move. There's no point in having chests down here at all for raw vegetables, is there? I don't think so. So what we're going to do is we're going to move these these in ch these chests entirely. We're going to sort of do a pantry up here. What I was thinking is we do do chests up here for cooked food and chests down here for raw food, but that doesn't make sense either because um, the cook is going to need it was going to need both upstairs, right? He's going to need raw food and the cooked food chests upstairs. Otherwise, he's going to be traveling a long distance. Uh, every every time he wants to cook anything and every time that uh, we want to store everything. At least this way it's it's only one it's one big trip to store stuff. But then it's a short trip when you're cooking. So, and for that reason, I think we're definitely going to need, we're going to need somebody that does farming and we're going to need somebody that does, that does cooking. Having both jobs together as one is, is, is not good enough. Like the cook is still going to do some occasional farming, even if we have a farmer too as well. But we definitely need a dedicated farmer. I think. I think we do anyway. Yeah. Ah, there we go. We can actually see again. <laughs> Having all those trees in front was like, you can't see a damn thing. Okay, so there, that's way better. Awesome. Oh, good. And this is, uh, hold on, who's sleeping in this bed? <laughs> who's sleep? Okay, this one was for Shinxi. So this one is for Sir Chris. I, I wonder if maybe we should do another bed out here for Donald Trump. You know, that's maybe not a bar bad idea. Let's, sorry, this one's going to be for Sir Chris. I don't know who's in there. Who is that? Donald Trump. Yeah, Trump, get out of the bed, dude. Maybe we'll do another bed out here for Trump. Maybe we'll do a little, I don't know. No, because Donald Trump is going to be a cook, right? So Donald Trump actually can sleep inside. He doesn't need to sleep out here. It's it's very convenient for him, but no. No. Get out of the bed. So I guess he doesn't automatically leave when you do that. Interesting. Hmm. Donald, get out of the bed. <laughs> he stole somebody's bed. That's super funny. All right. So what's next? Now, uh, I think, you know what? I'm going to carve out some of this stuff. I think that's probably the next thing that we need to do. Right, actually, before we do anything, what we need to do is we need to actually, sorry, I'm going to pull these beds back up because I didn't realize, I just remembered that to make the comfy beds, we need mean beds. So we need six uh, because we have enough, I think we have enough cloth to do six comfy beds. So we need to pull those out. So what I was thinking is, as you can see here, um, this will also increase, of course, the experience of our carpenter too as well, of owl. So we need to pull these mean beds out because we can use these mean beds in combination with the bolts of cloth to build the comfy beds, which is really nice. Also, we could build comfy chairs too. Yeah, but we're not going to do that right now. That might be really, I don't know, very, how posh would that be for the, for the main dining hall, eh? To have comfy chairs in there too. But I, I, like, I like the fine dining chairs. They're all right. Um, speaking of, I think that uh, owl finished building some of those. Uh, we, oh, we got, we finally got some fine dining tables. That's kind of cool. All right. So let's put two of those down. I think that's as far as we can go right now. And we didn't get any more fine dining chairs, but that's okay. I, I'd like to have everything matching eventually, but I mean, we'll wait. I mean, he's, as soon as he reaches the next level, I mean, it'll be a little bit better. Oh, we can put down the other blacksmith tool here, the anvil. Very, very handy. Get that down right here. Put yeah, this, this room's looking really nice. I like having all the trades in with the storage. It makes sense to have all the trades in with the storage. I don't know why I would do it any other way. I mean, having a separate trade room might be kind of handy, but in this particular scenario, I think having everything all together. Now, the downside is if we get attacked and they make it into this room, like they're... The, everything is here. Everything we own is in this room. So, you know, kind of a highly vulnerable situation. <laughs> but, you know, it is what it is. Oh, daily update. 
Oh, yeah, we got a ways to go before we get the next level of net worth, but that's okay. I don't want to rush that anyway. So what else do we have that we can put down? I think that's... Oh, oh, we just got some more fine chairs. Oh, wicked. Hold on. <laughs> cool. I, I was just saying that we need more fine chairs. There we go. We got this one, and what we'll do is we'll pull this... Whoops. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, man. Oh, man. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, we're going to pull this chair. As soon as they place this one, we'll move it uh, to the proper location. <laughs> And then we've got some stuff to sell, too, as well. Uh, we've got no trust trade quest coming, but that's okay. Let's go to Carpenter. Now we should be able to build those comfy beds. Uh, yes, so let's build five of those immediately. Uh, I, thought we had, I thought we had enough to do six. Yeah, there we go. Six. There we go. Perfect. Six, six, six comfy beds on the way. And let's pull this one, because I definitely want our guards to have the best beds. Whoops. Uh, pull this bed. There was somebody sleeping at it before. That's why I didn't pull it. <laughs> I didn't want. I didn't want to. You know, <laughs> abruptly remove somebody from sleeping by by removing the bed they're sleeping on. Can you imagine that? Just pull the bed out from under them. Ooh, a caravan. Uh, four oak logs in, in exchange for three comfy beds. Yes. Was that instantaneous too? Wow, that was a great. That was a great trade. Logs for beds. Uh, oh yeah. Oh no. So I, maybe that wasn't instantaneous. I don't know. Or maybe they just, maybe those beds, I don't know where those beds would appear. So we just did a trade, but I don't know where they appear. Maybe it doesn't appear in our inventory. Oh, a fine comfy bed. Wow, okay, that's that's remarkable. <laughs> that's cool. So where did those beds appear then? Sometimes, sometimes stuff appears out in the middle of nowhere too, so it's always interesting. Yeah, we got to build rebuild this ladder because <laughs> notice they did not collect this 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 loot actually before. Th we're still playing on hard. You know what? It's funny. We haven't seen that much for bad guys, but where did they put those other beds? All right. Well, we got a fine comfy bed. We're going to put this up here. This one is going to be for I think we're going to put Merlin up here. We're, didn't we? I think we wanted Merlin here, I think. I think we'll put the bed on the edge here like this. So let's put the, uh, he's got a fine bed. Wow, this is great. I didn't even know you could have, I didn't know you could have fine comfy beds. Yeah, we'll put it, we'll put it like this. There we go. That's kind of out of the way. Um, oh, did that not work? Okay, I don't know what happened there. Didn't, I don't, I don't know if that worked or not. Something happened anyway. Oh, invaders, finally. Uh, they're on the roof. <laughs> Always on the roof. The roof is on fire. Uh, a Varanus. Awesome. Let's go seven. And this is a large variety, but that's okay. We we know we can handle it now. And of course, it's just just good experience now. Anything that we can that's big like this, it might take a while to kill them, but we get great experience for them. And we need experience, which is great. Okay, so oh good, they got the, okay. So cool. This is going to be this is going to belong to Merlin the Archer. Excellent. Oh, that's so great. Oh, that's awesome. Now I don't care who sleeps in the other beds. That doesn't matter. So we're gonna get. Yes, I know. We're fighting a Varanus, uh, but we've got a lot of things to do here before we get, before, uh, uh, oh, ow, ow, level five. Oh, yes. You know what that means, guys. That means we can have our shepherd too as well. Oh, that's great. Okay, just, uh, actually, let's build that crook right now. Let's get that out of the way. How oh, wicked. We can build the shepherd's crook. Awesome. Done. And that, of course, means we're going to have a shepherd. We might even have that this episode. That's so awesome. Actually, we're making awesome progress. This is going so well. I, I think this is going better than uh, we've got some fine, lots of fine comfy beds. And yes, we did get the trade. It looks like they're moving the stuff in now. So that's great. So we're going to do one, two, whoever gets the fine, fine beds. Oh, lucky them. Actually, you know what? Oh, I just thought of something. We should put the fine beds out here for, for our warriors. Ah, man. Oh, well, that's We'll, we'll move them in a minute, because uh, we can't move them now. Uh, I wasn't thinking. All right, that's that's okay. I mean, I suppose other people deserve fine beds too, but our warriors, like Sir Chris and Merlin and Shinxie, deserve fine beds. Well, I guess they all deserve fine beds. Everybody's important. It's just, you know what I'm saying? It's just, you know. Uh, maybe we should actually remove these beds entirely. And we'll eventually turn those into comfy beds too as well. So we have so many comfy beds now. We might as well make use of them, right? So let's get the rest down here. We might even have our shepherd this episode if he, if he builds it right away. That's so cool. So one, two, three. Ha 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 ha! Excellent! So great. Okay, so all of the comfy beds are down. Okay, let's just take a look at the battle here. Make sure it's going okay because it is still a... Okay, yeah, things are going okay. <laughs> just want to be sure because you never know, right? Things might go sour, maybe. I don't think we get anything else from the Varanus, even the large one, other than just the skin. Yeah, that's it. That's all you get. 
Um, we're still, we still have, oh no, we did finally collect all this loot over here. Okay, so we are actually collecting all that loot. Okay, good. <laughs> and baby, what we're going to do is we're going to move these two beds out now. Get those out of there. And do we have, do we have the crook? We might have the crook. Sick of the trapper. Can we actually change your job now? No, no, not quite. We're just waiting on Owl. Hold on, let's just check the status of Owl here. Owl, are you finishing it? Oh, we've got tons of wood. Look at all the wood we have. Oh, that's great. Speaking of wood, you know what? We're going to grab some more of this too as well because um, it, it kind of blocks our vision of, of, of the town. And I mean, I suppose from a security point of view, it'd be kind of good to, you know, block the vision of the town. But I want to be able to see it and you guys want to be able to see it. So let's remove some of these trees. Wow. Uh, from now on, I think we're only going to grow the trees on the outside or we could grow the trees on the roof that or on the on the, uh, the roof, uh, the, the, uh, the, the top of the mountain, I guess. What is this? Oh, that's how oh, right. That's our window. <laughs> that is so cool. Awesome. Uh, guys, we're, we're totally out of time. I know we're totally out of time. But uh, before we go, hold on, let's move these beds. And maybe, maybe next episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some fast forwarding as I dig out this. I want to dig these rooms out just a little bit more just by one square all the way around. So they have a little bit more room and dig out the little holes so that we can put the dressers in. I think that'll look really cool. But in the meantime, let's move these two beds. So we've got the super fine beds, super fine comfy beds. Oh, they're going to get good night's sleep in here. Uh, that's great. Uh, I think I should have put that a little bit closer to the wall there, but that's okay. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. The hard things, the hard things are pretty good at getting over top of things, although it, it does bother my sensibilities. So maybe we will move this one back and we'll move the other one back a little bit more once we get that in there. Because, oh, I suppose we, no, no, they've already started moving it. So there we go. Guys, I hope you're enjoying this series. This is going really, really well. By next time, um, yeah, next time, like I said, we're going to do some fast forwarding. Oh, and let's get this chair moved to where it's supposed to be because, <laughs> Uh, there we go. Perfect. And yeah, this is going really well. Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying it. We'll see you on uh, episode 13. All right. Take care. Bye.